Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is September the 10th, 2020. This is our updated price prediction for gold. Yes, the shiny metal that so many people find interest in ever since the Federal Reserve continues to pump money into the economy. They're trying to find a safe haven to place their asset or their funds into so that it can maintain its value or actually increase in value. So if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate our content and the simplicity of our charts as well as our speech. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're the only organization, only platform that is literally here giving you information that you can benefit from without being confused. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Join us on our own website, youfinancial.com. Uh, definitely join there. It is free and you'll see all the other information that we cover regarding the commodity space, stocks, and even cryptocurrencies. Now, the last time we did our video in gold was back on August the 19th, 2020. It's been about a month, and you can see what we expected the market to do for gold. We expected it to go lower in price, but not by much. And you can still tell that literally that is how the market trap continued to decrease the value in gold. Now, we need to update you all on some things that we're noticing since that particular time up to this current point. The market in gold is exemplifying and showing us things that we need to address, and we will on this video. But first, let's look at the performance from our last video. We said the market in gold was looking to go lower, and it did. So 2.42% at least could have been taken out the market and placed into your account from that particular day and it's over okay at the very bottom there has been numerous opportunities for us to at least get three and a half percent out the market because gold came and tagged and touched one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars on numerous trading days okay so let's go ahead and get rid of that and we need to see how the market is looking now okay so let me zoom out and you can already see how the trend in gold it is definitely trying to stay above our ascending line the trap is still wanting the value in gold to continue to go higher in price next thing that you can see and i'm telling you this now is that the trap and the market is consuming gold at these price values so between 1920 and 1960 is where the market is consuming as much gold as possible as they can they are not selling the gold at this particular price if anything they are prepping themselves for a continuation of movement higher in price and it is not a coincidence when I zoom out that 1920 was restriction back in 2011 so what we're seeing and noticing is that the trap he's trying to hold price above $1,900 $1,920 that's going to be crucial going forward because during 2011 in August we have more participation from the market based off the volume around that particular time. So now we're seeing the market wanting to hold price above $1,900 to 1920. And you can see that a little bit better on the weekly time frame in the market for gold, right? Right there. $1,900 is a vital number for you to remember. We see gold break below $1,900. $1,800 is going to be the next level. Don't forget that. Okay. Now, looking at gold on the weekly time frame is even showing us that there is being a lot of consumption being had in the market in gold. You know, we've been holding price in gold above 1920 for four consecutive weeks that's very positive that's also in combination with the weakness that came in on the week of august the 10th 
and then the weakness that came in on August the 17th, the market is still holding price above 1920. So it's being even more cemented that the trap is telling you, is telling me that he still wants to increase the value in gold, that the weakness is not apparent at this particular time. Focus needs to be had at support of 1920 and then around $1,900. I, I really want to emphasize that to you because if we see the value of gold go below any of those two support areas, the market is changing its tone right off the bat. I'm telling you that right now. But currently, this market in gold, even though we haven't been seeing weakness coming in, it is definitely fighting back and it is not being shaken into dropping in value. Not yet. So what we're going to do on this particular forecast for gold in our prediction forecast, we are going to play strength in the market. Now, do we want to play it on a weekly time frame or daily? If you said daily, let's do that. Okay. So the strength into the marketing goal is definitely still here. We're going to go ahead and put in the forecast into the market for gold with the movement higher price. Like I said, 1920 is it'll be better to see the trap hold that. But I'm going to extend it down just a little bit lower just to compensate for increased volatility into the market uh, for gold. And we're going to continue to play market strength higher price. So let's take a look and see if we can find some restriction. And then, so there is restriction coming into the market around 1960. 1980 will be the next restriction area. So we'll TP the market around 1980. Okay. But what we're going to do, let's switch back over to the weekly real quick. And We'll TP the market around 1980. But again, we can see this market in gold uh, really increase in value if the economic situation across the world does not increase. I mean, does not get better for the end of this year. So we're going to play the strength into the market in gold. Uh, 1980 is going to be our TP price. But like I said, with a lot of the economic situation deteriorating, uh, you got the election coming through. You got China trade war going on. A lot of these things can really spur more investments, more interest into this commodity called gold. So this is it. Relatively simple to see and understand. Now it's your turn. What's your prediction? Give us your comment as to what you think gold is going to do in the next couple of weeks, a couple of days, and give us your TP price. All right, so let's go ahead and put this over on the daily time frame, and then I'll let you all go. So this is it. Questions, comments, let us know. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and I'll talk to you all on our next video.